Howdy folks and welcome to the Hillbilly Kitchen. Today we're making a three ingredient cobbler for less than five dollars. Now we're using peaches today. You can use different fruits if you want to. And this can also be cooked in a crock pot. So, or one of your instant programmable pots so that you don't heat your kitchen up. If you're doing it in a crock pot, you're gonna do it exactly the same way. Only you're gonna cook it for two to four hours. Start checking it in about two hours. And it could take up to four hours. You're gonna cook it on high and then turn it down on low. We're making ours in the oven today, so go ahead and turn your oven on 350 degrees and get it preheating because there's no way it's gonna have time to preheat while we're making this cobbler. Now, you need either one large can, I think this is like 29, 30 ounce can of peaches, pineapples, um, cherries, pears, even mixed fruit, whatever you want to put in here, some kind of berries or something else, with the juice in it. Or you need two of the small cans, the 16, 14, 16 ounce cans. Spray your pan and just dump your fruit in. Don't drain it. You want the juice. The second thing you need is a cake mix, a yellow cake mix or a white cake mix or even a spice cake mix. Any brand at all will work. You might want to give your cake mix a little squeeze to bust up any big lumps that are in it before you open it. Open your cake mix and dump it on top of your fruit. Do not mix this. Just sprinkle it on there. Still got some big lumps. Ah, well, it's okay. It'll bake up anyway. And it'll be just fine. Once you get your cake mix all dumped out, kind of spread it out a little bit, but don't stir it. You do want to get it all the way over to the edges. Now, you can add spices in here if you want to. You could put some cinnamon, certainly put some vanilla in it. You know me, I add vanilla to almost anything, but some vanilla would be fine in it. Um, I'm using peaches in juice. You can use peaches in light syrup, heavy syrup, whatever you want. The last thing you need is a stick of butter or half a cup. And I melted mine. I've seen folks cut it in chunks and put it on there. You can do that, but it's much easier to melt it and then just pour it over the top. And like I said, don't mix it. Just layer it. This is called a dump cake because you dump everything in and you don't mix it up. And that's all there is to it. We're gonna put this in our preheated 350 degree oven for about 50 minutes. Depending on your oven, it could take five or 10 minutes more or less. Or like I said, you can put it in a crock pot for two to four hours. Kind of depends on the crock pot, but you do it the same way. Don't mix it at all. And crock pots are great for in the summertime because you can cook it without heating up the house. And then once it's done, turn it from high down to low or warm and keep it warm until you're ready to serve it so it's warm for vanilla ice cream because peach cobbler is delicious with vanilla ice cream. All we're gonna do now is put this in the oven and let it bake. And in 50 minutes, it comes out of your oven golden brown and bubbly and in your carry-along dish with a lid. If you happen to have one of these insulated casserole things with a lid, this is the perfect take-along dessert. If you're going to somebody else's cookout, you can make this up while you're getting dressed to go because it literally just takes a second to mix it. Mix it up, put it in the oven, get ready to go to somebody else's cookout. And when you, by the time you're dressed and got the kids ready to go out the door, you've got a dessert you can take to share. It is so easy, and like I said, you can do other flavors. Pineapple is really good, or adding a spice cake to it totally changes it. I use the yellow cake. Um, it just doesn't get any simpler than this. Y'all asked for some more easy cake mix recipes when we did the lemon bars, so you asked for it, we're gonna do it. <laughs> 
Before we go, I want to leave you with Matthew eleven twenty-eight. 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus said this, and I think sometimes we forget that Jesus was a man. And he wasn't just a man. He was a man who worked a blue-collar job, and he labored. So he understands what it's like to be weary and need rest. And what he did for us on the cross was he made a place that we could take everything that weighs us down, that makes us heavy, that burdens us. And it doesn't matter if it's guilt over something we've done or if it's pain over something someone's done to us. All those things, all we have to do is give them to our Lord and He will give us rest. He knows what it means to need rest. And He does understand what you're going through. And if you give it to Him, He says, He'll take it. He will bear your burdens for you. I want to thank you so much for joining us in the Hillbilly Kitchen. If you haven't already, please don't forget to click like and subscribe before you go because we're going to have a lot more great recipes coming up for you this summer. Super easy ones and a lot of old-fashioned ones too. Please share our recipes with your friends. And until next time, remember to put God first.